Simon here from Simon Sleep Cycling. Today I'm going to give you some tips on going faster uphill. Now these are simple tips but they do work. Number one, lose some weight. Lose some body fat. Most of us are carrying too much body fat and it makes a massive difference when going uphill. And when I mean uphill, I mean longer hills, real climbs. Look at a guy like Chris Froome. When he started racing professionally, he was 75 kilos on Bala World. And he raced around that weight for many years. Only when he went to Sky did they get him under 70 kilos. That's over 10 pounds lighter. And that made all the difference when going uphill. It makes a huge difference. And many times we can improve more up climbs by dropping some body weight, some body fat, than by improving power. Because when we get to a certain age and when we've trained hard for many years, it's hard to make big gains in power. But often you can make big gains in watts per kilo by leaning down if you are carrying too much body fat. So that's my number one tip is lean down if you are carrying extra body fat. Number two is ride climbs often. Now that I live in Boulder, Colorado, I know firsthand what a difference it makes when you live in an area where you can do long climbs often. This past year, I did our yearly Georgia cycling camp and I blew away my times by over a minute, minute and a half from my previous bests. And that was purely from just spending time not only riding long climbs in Boulder, but also living at altitude helped as well. But I really noticed the difference on the climbs. It just felt effortless compared to before when I used to live in Florida and then go to Georgia and, and climb. That was such a big difference. In fact, the mountains of Georgia seem very small now, whereas when I used to live in Florida, they actually seem quite big. Try ride climbs as much as you can by simulating that with an indoor trainer or with a big gear on a flat road into a headwind. That's going to be your next best option compared to if you did not live in a hilly area. My final tip is try and make your bike as light as possible. Yes, that does help. Now, don't, that's my third tip, so my least important tip, but definitely does help having a light bike on those long climbs, can make a big difference as well. Hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Check out my free training plan on Simon Says Cycling. Just submit your email and I'll send you a free four-week training plan to help you improve your power. Thanks for watching.